Welcome everyone. Today's video is an unboxing for Auntie Vera's Scrap and Craft for the month of April. Can you believe it? We're already in April. And at the time of airing this, everyone is probably in lockdown. I know we've been in self-isolation for a while, but back to the unboxing. This month the theme is Life Within the Seed Part 2 and the products for the month of Feb oh, February for the month of April not February February has been and gone anyway for the month of April is the papers are from Bow Bunny and the collection is called Garden Grove and it's a gorgeous collection I absolutely love it I hope I've got I'm sure not I hope I'm sure I've got lots of photos that are going to go really well with this collection so I can't wait to get started and some here are some of these gorgeous papers it's very pastely the the last couple of papers I've shown you I absolutely love all these soft delicate pastel flowers and that's the other side which I'm going to find really really hard to pick which paper I'm going to use because I've only got one of each and as a scrapper that sometimes can be hard especially when you want you want to use both sides but I'm going to have to stop being uh, my typical Librian self and I'm going to have to make a decision on which papers I which side I want to use oh and this one here I love those flowers and the maroon and I love the back of it too I could really use both sides of this one because it'd be I had an idea but I've only got the one side so maybe I will use these gorgeous flowers and uh, find some other paper to go with it I'm not sure we'll have to wait and see what happens when creativity strikes and I start working through these layouts that I'm going to make for the month of April and this is another gorgeous florally paper it's called lovely and oh, just look at the details look at those flowers this one this paper is not as pastely and then it's got the gorgeous stripes in black and white absolutely love it and oh my I love this I'm going to be saying I love this paper a lot really I found this collection absolutely gorgeous and I'm just going to find it so hard to get into it and not hoard it but of course Auntie Vera won't let me hoard it so <laughs> layouts will be coming and yes I cannot wait to start creating I've actually been missing in action for the last four to five weeks life has been a bit difficult but I mean that is life it throws curveballs at you and we have to manage as best we can and as a community as a global community everyone is doing the best they can in these tiring times so let's all support one another and encourage one another especially if you're in isolation to create which is what I hope to do and these are the chipboards I think they're chipboard stickers if I remember correctly what's it say stick yeah chipboard stickers and these are all part of the core products for the month of April from Auntie Vera Scrap and Craft and I will leave a link for you down below and look at these gorgeous stickers aren't they just beautiful like I said they're from the Bow Bunny and the collection is called Garden Grove and I love everything about it now I'm, I'm pretty sure this is one of my chosen core products it's not one of the the papers were the core products as well as the chipboard stickers and this would be one of my chosen ones and this is another one of my chosen core products it's in the bow bunny and I believe that this this month I actually went for the whole collection because I just love it so these are the layered chipboards which I just gorgeous especially that bunny I have to do an Easter layout with these ones and these ones here are noteworthy and I believe this yes it is this is the ephemera pack and part of my chosen core product so look at all those gorgeous bits and pieces oh I love that envelope thing and the postcard and this note paper book oh my gosh it's all absolutely stunning I must admit Vera did an absolutely perfect job in picking this collection because I love it all so here I am just showing you some of the well I don't show you some of the ephemera I actually show you all of the ephemera which means I really really love it look at that butterfly and the colors they, they just it's just all so beautiful 
really you've got to get your hands on this collection because it is absolutely gorgeous i am going to have to decide which photos i want to use for these but i'm sure i've got plenty that will go lovely with these ones i might even do layouts about my mum, my godmother, maybe Easter. I'm not 100% sure. Eh, birdie, ugh, everyone knows my problem with birdies. But anyway, lovely butterfly. And it's got lots and lots of florals and some leaves. And I love that the florals come in different colours, even blue and this maroni one and different shades of pink. And I love it when they throw in leaves too. Look at that nice big bunch of florals. I oh, love that too. Oh, that's nice for an Easter layout, a school layout maybe. I'm not sure. I have to wait and see what I create. And I'm really interested um, to hear how everyone's coping in these changing times. Please let me know in the comments below. And let's all try to show each other some love and kindness and support each other through our youtube channels and social medias and you know i'm sure like me a lot of you are in in lockdown i'm actually blessed at this point in time where i can still go to work so i i will be working my normal shifts and well at this point in time and that's was those were some lovely little enamel dots and some oh these ones here these ones here okay this is not part of the core products these were part of the core products for march but i was not part of the creative team for march but i could not resist buying my own set now they had a cat set and a dog set i went with the i love my dog set by eco park and these papers are just absolutely gorgeous i will confess i've already made a layout which will hopefully follow soon but absolutely love these papers so if you've got a dog or a cat go to anivira scrap and craft and check out these collections the cat collection is just as gorgeous as the dog collection i love them both i do have a cat and i do have a dog but when i saw these papers i immediately knew i had the perfect photo for them so i bought the whole collection for only one set of photos but I'm sure that I will get plenty of use of them because I have two dogs I've got Snowy my older Labrador who's um, almost almost 16 he's 15 and then I have my younger pup who's two years old so plenty of layouts that I can make with them and I cannot wait to start making them now i'm going to confess i'm having major issues recording videos i used to well i still do have it's a logitech webcam but it's just not working with our australian i don't know something to do with our lights and the whole thing i've complained to logitech they've sent me something to do you know where i had to go into preferences and all this sort of stuff i followed it it still flickers they say i've got to put lots of lighting in I've got overhead lights, I've got everything. It's Logitech's obviously not designed to be used outside of the US. But anyway, that's my thing. Hope you enjoyed all those papers. I also got the art glitter glue, which I'm stocking up a bit of glue to get me through these times. And that's it. Thank you all, everybody. Bye.